folks. I am Carrie Lendo. I am a reseller on Etsy, eBay, Macari, Poshmark, Instagram, you name it. I will try to sell you vintage. I went on a little thrifting, hiking trip, a little pandemic, get out of the city. A lot of my friends have been going to Utah and Zion. It's about like, you know, depending on what part, um, just the Southwest corner. It's about six hours away. It was, it's been great. This is my day two haul. I was in St. George, Utah the first night, which is a lovely little town. Um, a little conservative for my taste. Or libertarian. I feel like they're a little more libertarian for my taste. But uh, any, they have great thrift stores. Not complaining about that. So here is my haul. The first thrift store I went to was called Switch Point, And it was amazing. One of the things I got is thrift uh, point, which was not vintage, but I, I wanted to get a bigger backpack. I had a bigger backpack that's really ugly. I just got it from the bins. Just like, oh, I need a bigger backpack. It has held up well to the point where I'm like, oh, this is ugly, but I want to get rid of it. Anyway, I so I just knew I needed a bigger backpack for hiking. I'm like, I'll just get one out there. I knew I was going to some thrift stores with really cheap price points. So I got this one. It's just a little hiking backpack. It was perfect. Exactly what I needed. At the thrift store, pretty much all the clothes were around $3. So I got these jeans for $3. More Jordache. Eastern California and Utah loves Jordache. These, look at that pocket. We got the classic horse. They're just the long straight leg Jordache. Can't go wrong. Look how high those pockets are. Do you have a high butt? If you do, these are for you. They are a size 12, length 33 and a half, um, which like I said, might be closer to like an eight or a nine because these are size smaller back in the day. So yeah, if, this will be super easy to list. And wow, two Jordash. Uh, if you want, look at my last video, I found some Jordash. Next, I got this denim and supply by ralph lauren there's the label if you don't know denim and supply and uh this i don't i'm not i'm not ooh, what am i button her for it denim and supply i'm not gonna get like a huge thing but this always sells really fast for me i just sold a sweater within a couple weeks for like i think 29 not great but 29 plus shipping but i, I had gotten it from the bins it was super lightweight so this is just an extra large women's shirt, but like I said, Denim and Supply sells pretty well. So put her up on the web. I bet she'll sell on eBay, that's my guess. Next I got this Sandro piece, which I've never sold Sandro before, um, but I know it sells for a lot. I know it's expensive. I also see them a lot in those liquidation box unboxings online, it's like the BG&E and, &E and more, which I feel like is not a good sign, but but I know it is popular. I mean, Buffalo will mark it up, um, which is a good sign. So, so there's the, t oh man, there's the tag. Uh, it's a cute kind of cropped wool, kind of vintage look. It's got a shiny vinyl trim. And you know, I, I've seen, so I don't know exactly how much this will get. I think I'm gonna price it kind of low. I was hoping for a pr higher price point, but looking at comps online, I might just try to put this at 30 and hopefully sell it sooner than later. Oof. This next item, I'm excited to show you. Boom, look at these red pointy cowboy ankle booties. Uh, uh, uh. There's the Durango, they're Durango brand. They're in pretty decent shape. There's this like weird, I don't know what's going on there. Most of the shoes in that room were $3, even the boots. Uh, but they didn't have a price tag on it. And so the, you know, 19 year old boy who was working in the store, I was like, how much are these? And he said six, and I'm not gonna argue $6 for a pair of amazing leather cowboy booties. So oh, very excited about these. Just left that store on cloud nine. I have one item I forgot to include because I was using it to prop up my phone because I forgot my tripod. It's this dream dictionary. More like a nightmare if you tell me, look at that. But uh, yeah, I do so well with books right now and especially like kind of metaphysically ones. So she was only 50, 50 cents. So I think it'll do decent enough. I mean, I think it'll be a quick flip. Bonus is a dream dictionary, but there's a bunch of chapters about like dreams and the mind and probably fake science, but yeah. So just gonna throw her up probably just for like 10 bucks, but I think it'll be a quick flip. And I like selling books because books are fun. And I also will enjoy reading uh, all about what my little nightmares of teeth falling out mean. Next, I went to a thrift store called Hope Chest and uh, 
knew it was going to be good when I saw the barrel potatoes outside. They were selling bags of potatoes for a dollar. There's the picture of the potatoes. People were going nuts for these potatoes. Everyone in the thrift store. Can you believe a dollar a bag? Where did these come from? Are they local? Oh, it doesn't matter. This is such a good deal. So glad you're like, people were thanking the cashier. There's just potato mania. I almost bought a bag of these potatoes. So I went in. I had seen the Yelp reviews that this one was a little more expensive. They're gonna have jackets for like $40, but they had a couple well-priced items, including this dress. I will show you her. So this is just like a um, 80s does 70s kind of dress. I'm wearing it now because I realized all my clothes are dirty from hiking. So I only have like some like shiny spandex pants and a oversized t-shirt to wear. And I wanted to look nice, but I was like, bam, I got this nice dress. It's probably a medium. I'm kind of a like small up top and medium large on bottom, and it kind of fits me pretty well, but it was $6. I knew I still had so many stores to go to still. Should I be spending six on a dress? But she's pretty, and I found another dress right here, and this was four. So I'm like, all right, $5 for each dress. That's okay. So the other dress I got was just this kind of like dress. It's just like a long poncho -y dress with fringe at the bottom. Very simple. Um, with pupils, you can take out the armpit if you need to make it bigger or smaller. Real, real, real just kind of potato sack, hey, dress. <laughs> I'm sorry. So these two, $5 a dress, I'll do it. They also had, I needed, it's so funny, where you just, when you're at a thrift store, you just put out what you want, you find it. I needed new shoelaces. At the last thrift store, I found shoelaces because the laces that are in my hiking boots always come untied. And then I also was like, oh, I need some conditioner because all these hotels just have like the conditioning shampoo. This long beast needs some conditioner in it. And then they had just like hotel free samples. And I was like, how much is this? She's like, just take it. So oh, was happy. So was not mad about the higher priced items. I mean, those prices, those weren't that bad, but there were some ridiculously priced items, but uh, hey, it goes to a charity. I don't know what charity, that's the thing. You're like, I don't know what kind of charity this goes to. And is it religious? And is it the kind of religion that is questionable in my opinion? So that was day two. I didn't stop anywhere else. I wanted to go to more, but I ended up getting two hikes, one in the Red Clip, Redlands, Redlands Nature Preserve, which is beautiful, recommend it, and a small one in Zion too. So that was my day two. Day three is really good though. So check out my next video, like and subscribe. You'll get an update and all that stuff. And thanks for watching. Bye.